Creating a Sustainable World. One Community Weekly Progress Update, number 370. One Community is a 501c3 nonprofit organization. We are creating open source and free shared blueprints and resources, tools and tutorials, and do-it-yourself instructions for highest good living. Creating solution models that create additional solution creating models in the service of all life on this planet. My name is Gee Sable and I'm the Executive Director of the One Community 501c3 nonprofit organization. One Community is bringing together people with the consciousness and the desire for the highest good of all life on this planet to build sustainable and self-replicating teacher demonstration hubs as a pathway to global sustainability. And today's topic, uh, this is our April 26th, 2020 edition, and today's topic is creating a sustainable world, because that's really what it's all about, right? Like currently, we're not living sustainably. By definition, we're not living sustainably, which means that what we're doing cannot continue because it is not sustainable. And so we want to create a sustainable world, and our path to doing that, and I've talked about this in past videos, is what we would call, perhaps could be called, selfish philanthropy or selfish humanitarianism. And what I mean by that is we're creating a model that will meet people's needs better than the way that they're meeting than they're living right now while simultaneously helping the world. And so in so doing, we're creating a self-replicating model, a model designed to go viral because people like it better than the way they're living right now. And in so doing, it also addresses the foundational challenges that our civilization is experiencing right now. You know, it grows healthier food, which improves our, our health and well-being and addresses medical challenges. It addresses social injustice and equality through fairness and diversity, incorporating diversity. It provides a better education model, which also addresses that. It's built on sustainable infrastructure, which lowers the cost of living for people. You know, the food, the energy, the housing is all sustainable and self-sufficient. It's all do-it-yourself replicable infrastructure so people can replicate that all over the world, but that also reduces the cost of creating it. It also reduces the cost of living, as well as having that open source education program. It incorporates fulfilled living practices and true earth stewardship and highest good economic models so that people can work and live in cooperation collaboration to provide a better environment for themselves, more things to do, more fun things to do, and more activities and recreational activities and social activities all within walking distance and more things, more toys, more goodies, the things that people look at sometimes and say, oh, you know, I really like to go and ride my motorcycle or I really like to go biking or I really like to go hiking or I really would love to have access to a wonderful library of great books to read or a huge movie library, video library, so that I have lots of things to watch. All that stuff can better be addressed through people working in cooperation and collaboration. You know, I don't need my own copy of a movie. I just need access to that, you know. And so if we all pooled our video collection, then we could share that. You know, imagine 100 people doing that. And so you could create a huge library of videos, a huge library of tools, a huge library of exercise equipment, a huge library of books, all of those things so that people have more access to that. And so by creating that environment and making it easy enough, affordable enough, and putting all that stuff together so it's attractive enough, we're creating something that will become self-replicating. And the ultimate expression of what one community is creating is what we are designing to build, is what you see happening in the background of this video. It's teacher demonstration hubs. It's sustainable village models designed to teach other people how to build sustainable village models all over the world. And in so doing, creating a sustainable world for all of us to benefit from. And creating a global cooperative and collaborative of people working together, cooperating, collaborating together to create that world for everybody. You know, our idea is that instead of have humanitarian aid, teach a man to fish instead of providing a fish. Let's create the infrastructure so that we can give people what they need to create sustainable infrastructure for others. We can build teacher demonstration hubs where they're needed most. Post-disaster, we can go in and build teacher demonstration hubs that will teach others how to build teacher demonstration hubs and spread this knowledge around the world so that people can take control of their lives. So people have the knowledge and the ability to rebuild if they need to, but better yet, so they're building houses designed to withstand these kinds of things. Earth bag homes, can, you can run into them with a truck and they won't be destroyed. They're round, so they work better in hurricanes and in tornado type situations. You know, also in earthquakes, the way that they're built, they're better uh, in earthquake type and seismic type of situations. Now, that's just one example. Shipping container villages the same way. They're virtually indestructible, you know. And so, 
spreading these ideas and these ideas being sustainable ideas and highest good for all life on this planet ideas, the food, the energy, the housing, the education, the economics, the truer stewardship, all these things put together to create an evolution of sustainability that will provide a way of living that's better than the way people are living right now. Once we create that and we launch that, and we teach people exactly what they can expect, how much it's going to cost, how much how much time it's going to take to implement, how many labor hours it's going to take to implement, and what the environment, the experience of living there looks like, and inviting people to come and experience that so they can see for themselves, so they can talk to people living in this environment, and see the reality of it, and demystify the idea, and make it real and tangible so people understand it. This is the pathway to creating a sustainable world. A self-replicating model like that within 30 years can convert our entire planet to sustainability. It could touch the lives of every single person on this planet if it became self-replicating. If it doubled every year, if, if, if one community inspired the next year, two more communities to begin of just 50 people. And if those two communities plus one community, three total, inspired four more the next year, and those all collectively inspired eight more the next year, and 16 more, and working together, we created more and more options, more and more ways to implement what it is that we're doing, and how to implement this in urban areas as well, how to create communities within city environments of people working together and cooperating, collaborating in resource-based economies, and doing things like tool libraries that are already successfully being employed in some parts of the world, you know, creating tiny, tiny home villages, which are already being done successfully in Oregon and right now Texas is working on something like that as well for homeless people like we can address these challenges we can help our veterans we can help our homeless we can do all these things while helping ourselves and so this is what one community is up to and we're an all-volunteer organization 400 plus volunteers at this point have contributed i'm a volunteer you know we're a non-profit organization we're a non-governmental organization we are an open source and free sharing organization creating a sustainable world for everybody one step at a time and everyone's invited to participate. This is what we're doing. This is how we see world change happening. And this is how we're participating and doing our part. And so, uh, yeah, with that said, stick around for a couple minutes, see a little bit more details about each of the different components of our project. And until next week, I will, we will, of course, keep on, keep it on. Thanks for following our progress. The one community approach to highest good housing is eco-artistic home building that is affordable, sustainable, do-it-yourself duplicable, resource and space efficient, and consists of seven different sustainably constructed village models. One community is also creating an open source duplicable city center. It is designed to be LEED Platinum certified, provide 12 guest rooms, dining for over 150 people, and laundry and recreation space for over 300 people, all while saving money, time, space, and resources. One community's approach to highest good food is duplicable almost anywhere, scalable for different needs, more biodiverse and nutritious, part of forwarding a global open source botanical garden collaborative, and includes nine different free shared and duplicable growing environments. The next component is highest good education. This component is complete and pretty much ready to launch once we're on the property. One community's approach to highest good education is designed for all age groups, adaptable to any schooling environment, inspiring and fun for all participants, includes national standards, all subjects, lesson plans, teaching strategies, learning strategies and tools, classroom design, and more. The one community approach to highest good society is globally focused, individually enriching, cooperative and collaborative, includes a highest good network and application, four different economic models, and combines fulfilled living and true earth stewardship for the benefit of all people and all life on this planet.